Welcome to Daddy O Patio. Psych, this is just a dream. You're still asleep. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Go back to your dreams. We are joined by Tony Ferguson. Hi. I think uh, it's also important to note that this is a different setting that we're in. We're in the bank right now. So we're you can probably old. hear the difference, too. We're in line to get our uh, our bank bills. <laughs> Banks don't give bills at all. They bill me every time I go in there. Yeah, they do. They bill, bill me for everything they, I got. You know what? They actually do do that to me because I only have internet banking, and if I use a teller, it's it's like $8 or something like that. Yeah, they charge me they $7 charge a month. They teller. charge me to talk to a person, yeah. Like I've to talk been, to a human. I've never been charged to talk to a person. I also don't have to pay ATM fees for my bank at all. What bank do you have? Fifth Thirds. This is a commercial for Fifth Thirds Bank. <laughs> <laughs> also free internet banking. I pay for nothing for my bank. I just make money. Fifth Thirds is the That's same like the bank that like, got robbed <laughs> by the same guy twice the most, in like less than 24 hours. Is that the yeah. same one? That that was the bank that got robbed by the same dude or whatever? Yeah, when I was telling them, I gave like, him all Didn't he try a third time or something? No, he walked, yeah. Well, he, I think he was going to the 10th, but he walked past and like, that's the guy right there. <laughs> yeah, why is he creeping around the place that he robbed from twice? It's like, dude, you've Didn't already... Did he get all the money the first two times? <laughs> yeah. Why? What Did else you go back? Get from him? Dust. McNosh. <laughs> he's coming back for the dust. He's actually <laughs> coming back to clean up. <laughs> well, you know, money reproduces itself, so it's like if you wait a couple of days, it's just there's just more there. Yeah. It grows on trees. Yeah, it grows. We were problem. talking the other day about how chips ahoy grow. Like if you leave them in the for in the pantry <laughs> for like ten years, you come back and you have like a redwood chips ahoy. Like it's <laughs> like. The <laughs> circumference has gotten this much bigger. I figure it said that like it strikes you like a cobra too when you open the box. It has like its own like sentient force now, and it just bursts out, tries <laughs> to bite you. It's Infective. still soft though, like the poison oh, yeah. goes in your veins, but like it's a soft bite. It tur- well it turns you it into turns a chips over. Chips yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's chewy chips <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, I was always pissed as a kid when I got the crunchy ones at first, but now I really enjoy the really hard. Yeah, ones. I like the soft batch cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah soft good. batch. I don't know how, why I ever liked the hard ones, man. It's like eating. <laughs> you know what, dude? The only thing that's better than like the chewy chips ahoy is chewy chips ahoy with peanut butter, like that. Not oh. peanut butter, but uh, like Reese's. They have the chewy Reese's. Well, I get the ahoy. fuck out of here. That's too much, dude. <laughs> Untouchable. Why are they doing no, that? No, no, no. But if we're talking crunchy cookies, though, Famous Amos is the best. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that does. Just look into his eyes. Unfortunate names, like it was always made fun of in the most like bizarre ways, like heinous anus. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's not an unfortunate name, though. Hey, anus, go make me some cookies. (laughs) And now he's famous. Do my brother used to put soft batch in the microwave for like fifteen seconds, and it seriously tastes like your mother baked you cookies or something. It's fucking (laughs) great. That's genius. It's so good. I feel like yeah. Whenever they came up with like those those tube cookies or whatever, like they kind of fucked over all the moms of America. Yeah, that's who true. Put all their man. time into that shit. Because you used to have to mix up, like yeah, you'd have to beat the eggs. And... Is essentially that they put moms out of business. Yeah, yeah. but dude, nobody Mom was making tagalongs at home. What? No, no they didn't. They what gave, mother like, was making tagalongs? Take me to fucking like the supermarket. Take me to the Girl Scouts. Yeah. Tagalongs. Dude, yeah. I actually went to a bar in uh, Clayton that sold. Like Girl Scout cookies, and you can just add them to your tab. Like you, That's you, you, get, you get a PBR dangerous. in a box of tangle tagalongs. Oh my god! And they were only like four bucks too. I'm not puke just thinking about tagalongs. <laughs> the box disappears Arbar? too quick in yeah. my yeah, yeah, esophagus. Okay. Right next to the high point. Yeah. Yeah. On the skinker. Yeah. Skinker. This whole thing is just disgusting. Tony, Tony's sitting on top of a giant. What do they call this thing? Domo. Domo, Domo. Domo. monster. Where the fuck did this thing come from? We got a giant. Okay, so we're in this old bank that Chelsea and I have been living in and having parties and shows and stuff. And uh, down the street, there's an antique store that was selling a giant stuffed Domo for like five hundred dollars, but they closed down and they just gave it to us. So now <laughs> we have this giant stuffed Domo. Monster in the bank. It's weird. The crotch is like torn on. Yeah. Pole, so somebody's been using it, man. Yeah. I accidentally fisted it when I picked it up because I figured like the best place to get leverage was like the crotch on it, you know. And I seriously just went like elbow deep in it immediately. And I was like, holy shit! I just fisted that giant domo. Dude, he still has the same smile on his face too. Yeah. Just didn't even phase him. I've been sleeping on it because I didn't bring my couch or bed or anything out here. So every night I've just been a sleeping. Skeletal on it. system inside of it. Yeah, it How sucks. You, sleep on it? you just got to get in the right spot. I've, I've been thinking about removing his bones, though. Taking his, I can take his, 
Twist yeah. him and remove his take bones. His, take his skeleton out through his, <laughs> his chode hole. <laughs> I can't believe you're sleeping on this thing, man, with me, Nosh. Yeah, I've been sleeping on that with a stuffed shark. I've been sleeping <laughs> on a giant monster in an old bank with a stuffed shark, and I'm 26 years old. This is my fucking life. <laughs> uh, you're doing pretty well, man. I mean, the best part about this place, though, <laughs> is that there's a drinking fountain in here. So, like, and in fact, I'm gonna drink out of it up close. You're gonna hear the audio of it. What's the oh my god, I get so double. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna add a bunch of echo and shit on that. Now, have they changed the filters in that since the bank closed 20 years ago? Dude, I have no idea. Or is it just being pumped through Dude, the sewer it's, system? It's pure asbestos water that we're drinking. Oh, yeah. God. Thank God I did not fucking touch it. Rain water. It. Dude, I just jumped right into this situation. Like, Chelsea told me she had some old bank that we could live in, and I was like, alright. So, blindly, I came back from New York City Should we shift to off this the, weird uh, shit. Air conditioning? No, oh, yeah, actually, you know what? We, yeah, we were talking about doing this episode as the active episode where we do things. Um, we'll do it in the street. We'll do it when we up on the that? ceiling. Yeah, so we're in this old bank, and we already talked about the old bank and everything. So let's go well, outside. Wait, guys. since the ladies yeah. earlier did a shower well, shot, should we do a shower recording and we all stand really close together in the shower? I don't want to get in the shower. <laughs> well, hey, you gotta get, get a bunch of the marsupial on the ground there. Oh, yeah, we have two cats, too, Jelly and Meat, and they're both beautiful. Right, we're actually in the bank. We're just all of them in the nude. <laughs> Alright, so you may have just heard a change in environment. Now we're all outside on Cherokee Street in St. Louis, Missouri. Wait a minute. It's very uh, smoggy. It's very humid. Smoggy. We're standing on, under some orange street no. lights. Smoggy. Yep. Oh. Now I'm locking the door. It's like a really weird smell out. Peach is leaving mid episode. He's gone. Yeah. Peaches just got shot in his brain <laughs> <laughs> in front of us in the parking lot. Yeah, I like that your first right. reaction is to laugh about that. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Assholes. No, There's like, absolutely no reaction. Really this is, dude, we've never up. been walking and doing a daddy or patio That's at the same time. This is so weird. Dude, let's go on a scavenger hunt. Oh, oh, wait, wait. All right, so let's climb up on the roof. You guys want to get on the wait, roof? Wait, this ain't a ladder. It's like a, like a, a it's wall. A, it's like a dumpster. What, you guys have climb. gecko hands? <laughs> yeah, dude, look. There's notches for your feet. Tony's climbing up. He's a pro at this kind of shit. Some would say almost make noshes. God damn it. I'm gonna break my spine. Oh, no, Nothing. All right. You wanna pass the, uh... Yeah, here, I'm passing yeah, the recording yeah, device up. Here comes the recording device. Dude, this thing's like a trampoline. <laughs> here. Peach is take it. I'm trying. Here we are. Lance, you got it? Got it! Yeah. And we're on the roof. Uh, we might fall through this thing. There's a pint of bullshit that we don't know. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, look at that Yoda. Uh, Holy shit, that's Dude, look at this Yoda painting over here. I saw that. That mirror. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, don't Holy step in the rush spot, dude. dude. You'll sink in. Oh, Lance, I thought we just almost died again. <laughs> dude, oh! That's awesome. <laughs> dude, yeah, okay, so look at that. That cannot be good. Uh, yeah, I'm stepping away, but... Uh, wait, 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 let's get on the roof. All right. All right. We were on. We were, we're up here last night. Up. It's safe. All right, so... Yeah. I'm putting the recording device Dude, up there. Dude, I stepped in and I freaked out. I didn't warn you guys about where it was. Yeah. Oh, All right. Man. Oh, God damn it. There's an air conditioner up here making noise. Go on the other side of it. All right, we'll go on the other side. <laughs> this is so weird. Like, oh, God. The most structurally stable. I know, this, this sounds like it's made up of staples. <laughs> <laughs> Out of like the staples of store? Yeah. Yeah. All right. uh, so let's sit down and talk about they, some shit. They put a stand, alright? They took a stand to fucking fall to my death. Yeah, I don't want to fall on my tailbone. <laughs> you just fall so in the inside. What do you I don't understand what you mean? Like I feel like it's way more likely for you to fall than when you're standing up than sitting down. You're like concentrating your weight and your, your feet. Alright, so here we are on the Let us. Oh, look at all the lettuce. Hey, uh, just so everybody knows, lettuce is trash. All kinds of lettuce. All kinds of lettuce. Can I hit this trash can? All right, so uh, now we're outside in the wind. All the way down in my final resting place. Are these like turds laying around here? What are these, like wasp <laughs> nest? Pick one of those up, Tony. I need it. Oh, my. Rocks. I think they're rocks, yeah. <laughs> Crystallized turds. Dude, this is probably totally, like, impossible for anyone to listen to. 
Like, what do you mean? There's this no way. Is the most scatterbrained, like, ridiculous <laughs> shit. What are they not? All right, yeah, well, it's actually true. But that's that's all that is. All right, so let's kind of give like an idea of uh, Woo! what kind of roof this is. This ain't a shingle roof. This is like a metal. Uh, it's almost like a barn roof. Like if this was midday, you'd be burning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like it's metal, and it's uh, it's not. It doesn't seem to be uh, sturdy. Safe. Yeah. Not oh, totally made to support. Yeah. For whatever for reason, it's, it's not making my laying body. Feel good, dude. I, let's all stare. Let's stare at the sky and talk, man. I'm gonna lay up. Let's actually no, get in a formation. Yeah, nobody right, we'll look get in the your patio formation. Nobody uh, look each other in the eyes the rest of this episode either. Dude, dude my shoulders are gonna be so uncomfortable over this. I know, dude. This like it's like a half that, a foot wide. I see. I fit like, like perfectly like, in there, man. It's dude, a little it's coffin. Like, it's like right on both my shoulders. This legs. Is a hot <laughs> Uh, God, I'm going to leave feeling like a gargoyle. So now we're looking up at the night sky. Oh, it's, my God, it's beautiful. Good old <laughs> stars. You can see the stars. If you're listening during the, the daytime, just stare directly in the sun. You'll know yeah. what we mean. Yeah, dude. That's just one, star. Of, one of many of what we're yeah. looking at. I still there. find that crazy that that's the, uh, a star, and it's right there in my backyard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know, dude. That's ridiculous. It's like, looking at me every time I walk out of my house. And the like, sky is just this giant, like, window like, of chemicals protecting you, and you can just stare out at this just fucking What's even star. crazier is, like, looking out that far, we're, it's a, we're looking into the past. Like, yeah. Yeah, all that light. Like, when we're looking at the sun, it's eight minutes old light. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like we're all, we're just constantly looking at And light travels machine. so... God damn Well, supposedly, fast. or not even supposedly, like, technically, uh, everything you see is in the past because it takes a while for images to reach your brain. Yeah, and then your brain has to process it, too. And that, So, that, dude, we're, we're always looking into the past. We can't help it. Yeah, I should have brought the gnash. Dude, but you can, like, use your imagination, and that's the present. The imagination is the present. Yeah, that's a really interesting idea. That like, the, that your the brain only can present? process in real time. Well, I mean, the only... All, it can only process, like, its own thoughts real time. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, the only real present is the thing... F- to your brain are the things that it's creating itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, does that make sense? Right. Because everything else is... Everything else has to go through, External like, stimulus that's, like, yeah, that has to come in. And, like, you have a source of your own thoughts and ideas and everything, and that's, like, really the only thing that happens immediately in your brain. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, maybe that's totally not true. I'm sure there's somebody who knows more about this listening. Like, uh, God, just listen to me, like, say things that are not true. They got it all wrong. But I feel like that's people. why they listen to us. Yeah, they probably do. They probably do listen to it. There's probably so many episodes where we just said things that were just completely wrong, and there's just, like, <laughs> so many people have to sit there and listen because it's not live. Because it's in the fucking past. Dude. What are you going to do Yo, about it? Yo, but we've yeah. been lied to you before on Daddy O Patio, too. We've you think some... we've been lied to? On I think Daddy we've been Patio? lied to. Who the fuck would lie to us? Man, I don't know. There's some sketchy, some some seedious people out there. <laughs> seedious. seedious. <laughs> That's Not like insidious, se- but <laughs> seedious. Like seedy and tedious. Yeah, like, combined. Small and annoying, but also like. <laughs> I'm trying to save time creepy. with my uh, my talking. Small and annoying, and also hardworking and, and <laughs> repetitious. They're great. Seedious. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who would lie to us, man. I don't understand why that would happen. Yeah, what the fuck. Whoa, I heard somebody screaming about something. Uh, we have a domestic disturbance. Dude, if we have to hang up, if we have to stop this daddy patio to, like, call 911 for a domestic dispute. Oh, it's not stopping. No, we, no yeah. we're recording it. <laughs> the whole call is going to be on the show. We're going to record the blood trickling from the victim's neck <laughs> up close and personal. <laughs> Hold on, officer. Let me just... Yeah, there it is. Let, let me get up close We're doing a one. podcast, officer. Step back. <laughs> Listen, like, officer, we got it from here. He's like, are you guys daddy o patio <laughs> Dude, we have had the no. cops on daddy o patio before. Remember in Harlem, I went up to those two cops or whatever, and the one oh, yeah. said he, like... I think he said he couldn't read or something. I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Doesn't oh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, you were trying to ask him for, like, a... For directions? Wait. No, for a Mad Lib or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. We should do that again. That was awesome. Dude, yeah, that dude. was good. Dude, uh, also, I feel like we should say something about, like, uh, the reason, the biggest reason I got this bank was because uh, I want to turn Daddy O Patio into something more than it is, and hopefully within a couple weeks we're going to make that start happening. So if you're a listener yeah. and you're in St. Louis, Missouri, or you want to come to St. Louis, Missouri, um, 
we're probably going to start filming our show here in this bank. And Directly if below where we're laying. Yeah, and if you want to come and sit on the floor and watch us and participate in the discussion. Or on the roof and have your back broken. Yeah, we could. you could even, well, we probably shouldn't bring people up here, but. We're going mean, to have chefs making pancakes and flipping them out into the audience. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> we're going to have it all circus clowns that we shoot at the end of every episode. <laughs> Recycle them. Uh, we have a uh, Cavalia on our first episode, so <laughs> rare for that. Cadaver puppet show, dude. What clown would ever sign up for it, knowing he's gonna die? Oh, we don't tell him. <laughs> dude, wait. some of them might know. We, 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 we just hired him from the yellow pages. Remember when he lived with me, and I got free uh, tickets to Cavalia, <laughs> and I ended up hooking up with one of the girls that like. Wait, what are you saying, Peaches? Okay, when you were living. Uh, when you were living with me, I got free tickets to Cavalia by one of the girls that rides the horses. What I, is Cavalia? I have no idea. It's like circus with horses. Oh, I don't even know what that don't is. Don't all circus have horses? Horse circus. <laughs> horse uh, circus. <laughs> well, yeah. The, the ringmaster is a horse. horse. <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous. Hey, yeah, Dude, if, if, wore a, a bloody horse head the entire time. If you were a ringleader, why would you not come out like in a chariot of horses, dude, with like fireworks shooting out? That's what I would I do, I always man. thought being a ringmaster would be really cool. Oh, dude, I don't go anywhere What's without at least four Roman What are the qualifications for ringmaster? I don't know, man. You gotta like, be a janitor. You, gotta, you have to be good at everything. Like, you, have you have to be, to be the janitor of the carnival for ten years, and they give you a top hat. But anyway, where I was going with the story, <laughs> after the show, the girl took me back to her fucking trailer and twisted my body into a contortionist sex state. It was fantastic. Wait, 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 wait. You, you fucked a ringmaster? No, one of the girls, <laughs> a, a, a gymnast, a horse, a horse you gymnast. You fucked a horse? <laughs> <laughs> she that's, was a horse gymnast? She's a horse gymnast. <laughs> she twists the horse in the... <laughs> Dude, you got twisted in the same position as a horse. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, horse she yoga? She used my dick as a saddle, but I was on all fours, so she stretched it around oh and fucking God. crushed my pelvis into dust. Yeah. She turned peaches, she twisted his body into a horse. <laughs> Dude, you're like a scorpion with your penis on your butt. I only ate carrots and grass. Dude, if you had horse. a... If you had a, pe- a if you had a scorpion tail, but it was your penis, <laughs> like, and so you had to seduce like whoever you wanted to fuck, and then like sting them like with Dude, your back on. I'd, I'd rather can have you imagine like the positions you'd have to take in order to have sex. <laughs> I'd rather like, have the second alien mouth as a dick. <laughs> <laughs> like it, wait, it just shoots you. Wait, wait. So you have a dick coming out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I didn't think about that one. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I thought Peach is meant. I thought he was saying like his no, no, my, my, my dick up to another my, like. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, my yeah, dick, yeah, my dick right. opened up into another like another smaller, <laughs> smaller, <laughs> deadly. That's, that's you, you, you bring a girl in your room and then just open your mouth and just a dick comes out of your mouth. <laughs> it, would, it would essentially be like a dog's wiener. I was gonna say like that's every head. dog. Yeah, but every this one, this one hissed at you. This one hissed at you. Oh man. I think it'd be cool if it was like an exact replica of your regular dick, but just smaller. You know, it's like a micro machine. Dude, it's like, it's, like, oh, it's like Russian shit. dolls, where like there's yeah. always the same thing on the inside, and it's like there's like an extension that keeps going and going and going. I think it'd be cool to have two dicks like stacked on top of each other. You know what I'm saying? Like one Dude, above side by the other. side would be completely useless. Yeah, yeah. No, you think well, that unless would, like, you had two bitches I, well, or no, two how? dudes, whoever you want to fuck. Well, how do you? How does that work? They lay like on the ribs. Yeah, it'd be hard. Side by side. Do you even have enough like blood supply or, down there? I mean, I mean, if you had two dicks, I'm sure. Something I'm sure it'd suck all the blood out of your body. You turn into a raisin in order to have sex. Yeah. You think you can get like an operation where like you have the same like anything can be done nowadays. You have the same amount of dick, but you just have them switched into two instead of have like one with the same volume. Like you have two smaller dicks Dude, that they amount to me, the same never, amount of penis. I'd so they never be useful they to use a female <laughs> ever. <laughs> no way, because you could do them in the butt and vagina at the same time. Dude, but like I'm already small enough as is. <laughs> I'm barely <laughs> cutting in half. What's already like. Half of normal, but you would have the same amount of dick. It would just be two little ones, you know. Well, now I see. Right, but you could also just like. Do I have the option of them combining into one massive dick, or (laughs) wait, 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 like megazords into a big? Like every time I get a, like every time I get a boner, they just like collide into each other, (laughs) and and then like my my fucking uh, uncircumcised foreskin like covers it like the pterodactyl (laughs) covers it like a tent, and it's just. Pleasurable for all parties, even those who are watching outside the window. Which Megazord or which Power Ranger was the dick on the Megazord? Um. Oh shit! 
There was a cod piece one. Yeah. I don't think that, <laughs> Did he set think... a full human like wiener like on the corner of like a saber tooth tiger? <laughs> and he had to operate it too. <laughs> it was the autistic kid. <laughs> <laughs> they never mentioned him. It's really weird. He actually lived in the Megazord nonstop. He actually never went outside. Yeah, dude. Actually, there were parts though that just like come from nowhere. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, the like, sword. Yeah, what does that come from? It comes from the earth. Like, it, like it opens up into, like, an earthquake, and then it bursts out of the core of the earth. See, I always thought Tommy's Zord made more sense because he plays that flute, and it comes out of the ocean. Like, I get it. You know, the thing's hiding in the ocean, and then he plays the dagger flute, and it comes out. That makes sense. Yeah. But the other ones, like, they form... That, makes, that was White Ranger, right? Or, yeah. Well, How do he you was dream? the same guy. How do you suck a sword to you with a flute? That doesn't make any sense. No, I mean, you summon the... The beast? You summon the robot dragon... You, Oh, the dragon brings it to him? He licks the fucking putty blood No, off he has... A, he, and wets he, his lips, and that's how he <laughs> plays the song. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I always thought of putties as just very dry and crunchy. You know, they get punched in the chest, they, like, collapse into Ritz yeah. crackers. Yeah. <laughs> and do a cheese plate. I think it'd be cool to have a necklace of, like, all their Adam's apples. Like, a bunch of putty Adam's apples on a necklace, <laughs> like a hunter. Oh, yeah, dude. Collect them, like, Vietnam. Dude, they should years. do an adult Power Rangers where it's, like, that fucking brutal. I'd like to skin them and have a silver jacket. Where the Blue Rangers, uh, Blue Blue Ranger was just dude, sodomizing all the putties. There are, <laughs> there are a lot of, like... Like kid show ideas, like if they were made into like an adult show, like wouldn't be a bad thing. Like Power, I think Power Rangers would work, man, if it had like enough story behind it and imagination. <laughs> Directed by Michael Bay. Yeah. No. <laughs> you, I, Transformers. Well, Power Rangers is weird. I think we've talked about this before, but it's weird because like all it's those still going though. Like, it's still they well, make the, new Power Rangers every day. The one that we watched when we were kids, like that we used to watch, was uh, it was. Like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, the original series. So, like, all the um, all the Zord fights were all... It's all, like, old Japanese movie, like, stock footage. And then they filmed a bunch of separate shit in, like, Southern California with a bunch of, like, actors. And then put it together to form something that was, like, a cohesive story or whatever. Oh, hey, satellite. See, see the tiny, tiny dot right there? It's, it's a little star? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's a satellite. Oh, shit, Listeners, is do you see it? Yeah, do you see it? Look outside your window. It is going so fast. Listeners, look outside your window. We're all there. (laughs) All of our faces are right there. I didn't think you could see satellites from the city. They're usually too, like... Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, This is a really clear Wait, are you guys seeing that one right there, then? Where? What's that? That's fine, and it's such an irregular pattern. Oh, you know what it is? You're losing... I'm, like, losing, like, motion. Yeah, like, no, Justin Hughes taught me that if you stare at one star long enough, you'll lose, uh... Your, uh, I can't think of the right word, but it'll start. No, like your uh, perception of like the space around it, and like it'll just start moving around like crazy. No, I'm pretty sure Dude, it's uh, moving. Next time you guys do well, psychedelics, look at the stars. They all move in like such a crazy irregular pattern. It's so awesome. Well, actually, they're not even moving. We're moving. Well, well, they're moving too. Well, we're yeah. all moving. Right, but isn't it? We're perceiving their movement because we're moving. Yeah. Otherwise, well, we wouldn't be able to perceive their movement. Are we moving like 800 miles an hour right now? Eight? No, it's way faster than that. Thousand miles an hour? Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, th- I heard somebody say that, like if gravity did, or if, like if uh, uh, the reto- rotation of the Earth stopped, like we would just fly a million miles and just die. Whoa! Well, yeah, but why would it just suddenly stop? It would have to have a force act on it, dude. Yeah. I mean, Atlas squeezes. <laughs> 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 Isn't it on his back? Dude, he's rotating yeah. on his lubricated back. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a, he's got a little imp that follows him like around and butter. just like squirts him down with like baby oil. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like an ice cube in the middle of his back with Antarctica. <laughs> just cold on his lower back. He never has back problems. I see that. I think he's always got back problems. <laughs> he's carrying the earth. He's got the earth. Whoa! Whoa. Is that a bat? That's a. No, is it? What the that fuck am I witnessing? Bat. <laughs> Those are the noises made. Oh, I it can't is a bat, even believe yeah. my eyes. Is that Ozzy? Is that a Smith? Bat? Dude, I thought it was Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Ozzy Smith. <laughs> is it Ozzy? It's a two-headed bat. That's hey, Ozzy Osbourne. Hey, this is Ozzy Osbourne, Ozzy Osbourne, and you're listening to Daddy O'Patio. <laughs> Dude, Ozzy Osbourne oh. just landed on our roof. Did you, did it shoot echo a location in your heart? Is, is that what that guano noise is? on my eyeballs? I think so. Dude, I don't know why he'd be making noise just for fun. I, D- no, I mean, is that a is that's, that a bad that's chirp. I uh, that, a bat. That's a baby vulture, guys. I think it thinks we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> if it tries to eat me, 
I know that bats actually have a preference towards blonde and lighter haired people. Really? Yeah. Bats? Oh, music. fuck, dude. Yeah, you're fucked. Wait, wait, bats, like, prey on the living? They, they don't prey on the, like, <laughs> yes, they do, but <laughs> they, like, they have a tendency, like... Yeah, what do you, what do you mean, what preference, like, what... Well, they, they can see blonde hair better than they can see, uh, like, dark hair. Well, they can't see blue, so fuck them. They can't see blue. I, well, I don't know. Yeah, I just <laughs> said that. Just, just <laughs> someone would back it up. I, I would have believed it. Like, if they, they can't just told see me. the color blue? <laughs> Dude, they're weird in so many different ways. Like, they use echolocation. They're, they're flying mammals. Right. Flying mammals is, like, the, and they live in the caves. weirdest part. They live, like, in caves. And, dude, they eat upside down, hanging by their feet with no hands. Dude, have, Every you, seen the, have you seen those pictures where they, like, take bats hanging upside down and then, like, rotate the picture 180 degrees? And the bats just look like they're having, like, a good time. <laughs> no. they're, all just, like, they're all just, like, dancing <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> it's really fun. Dude, have you seen that, uh, I think it's, like, this lake in Russia that, uh, it has, like, it calcifies birds and stuff, so it, like, immediately turns them to stone. Yeah. Or the idea of stone, but it's just, like, really hard and calcified. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, That's I've wild. seen that. That's Wait, crazy. They, like, if that happens to birds, I'm sure that could happen to a person. Yeah, like, I know. What, how how did what what happens? They like swim in the lake and turn into a rock. Just being like around <laughs> it, pretty much, like it just like calcifies their entire body. I thought it was like some dude, like re-represented it or something. I saw these photos online, but I can't remember anything. Some of them were, some of them were found, and then some of them were like, all right, yeah, let's throw this fucking animal in there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember what it was, but I saw some guy. Well, dude. That's where the Loch Ness Monster hangs out nowadays. Throw your arch nemesis in there and make him into a statue for your garden. While he's in a full business suit. Wouldn't it be great to have your arch nemesis as, like, just a decoration in your house? I think really it'd be great. Yeah, I was about to say, I think it'd be I great just to have one. I think that's the problem with... You, yeah, you guys with, don't have arch nemesis? Who's yours? <laughs> you have two? Eyebrow Dude. red? Eyebrow... Eyebrow... No, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was my dad's arch nemesis. Yeah. And he made damn sure he died. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he slid him from head to toe and wore his sideburns on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you wait. Tell he's it. kidding the son of a bitch from his ankles to his eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Left, so left the dog. scalp <laughs> and his feet and his, his soles feet. the soles of his feet and his scalp <laughs> Dude, everything we, else was gone yeah, uh, tell, uh, elaborate on the story of uh, Eyebrow Red oh he's just my dad's arch nemesis why like why, why? what did he do he made eye contact with my dad at the gas station one time <laughs> <laughs> that was one it time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my dad didn't like it the uh, the feud began for years and years to come <laughs> the dude's uh, eyebrows were as bushy as his mustache <laughs> Well, it's like my, he had, uh, like, big bushy eyebrows, and my dad had a bushy, like, mustache, and they just had sword fights with their facial hair <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. <laughs> Going at it. Looked really weird. But, uh, say, is it, it probably looked like he's trying to kiss his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Get over you, son of a bitch. Look, <laughs> They don't use their, their, their hands are at their side the whole time. <laughs> Like to them, it's like a ching ching like sword fight, and it's all theatrical. But like everyone, everyone else, everyone else like, sees him like trying to kiss like two grown men like trying to slobbering on each other's heads, slobbering <laughs> lips at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> they meet every single day to fight. It was in Mexico, dude. If you have to fill up every day, man, you drive like a million miles. But they just did it for blood. But no, I'd say my arch nemesis is Steve Gedeker, man. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a group arch nemesis. I looked his brother in the eye, too. I looked his brother in the eye and then dressed up like a reptile and killed his <laughs> family. <laughs> that's actually 100% true. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, not the killing his family part. Yeah. But... No, that's true, too. But I, I thought about it. <laughs> you could have taken his firstborn. Yeah. No, wait, no, Dan's not his firstborn. Firstborn son. No, oh, no, Dan, Dan is Steve's son. Like... Steve's mated with all of the females in his clan. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the males are submissive to him. <laughs> He's mated with the males, too. The males, too. He feels like it. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to mate with the other males to let them know yeah. who you Assert are. He shakes, he shakes his, like, turkey gobbler in their face and stuff and does, like, turkey mating girl. rituals. Guys, I think we should start a Kickstarter of people getting money together for the lawsuit of Lance meeting Steve Edgar. Lawsuit? <laughs> yeah, that way we can just pay the lawyers off real quick. After. Oh, yeah, there'll be blood. 
dude, like, I mean, I, they, uh, if they play these it? recordings in court, they're like, how exactly uh, did Mr. Vogel slander you, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> well, and uh, it's like, <clears throat> yeah, he takes his turkey, turkey gobbler and has sex with all the males in his place. <laughs> 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 the whole jury would be like, what, what the, the fuck? hell is this guy's dude, problem? You'd, you'd get out on insanity for sure. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, beat us. <laughs> and then all of them would listen to Daddy O Patio. Yeah, they would be hooked. I think I saw Lance said. That's a Steve Gettiger has never too. worn shoes. His feet are just hardened over in his steel toe boots from stepping on skulls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's callous talons. <laughs> his toenails are razor sharp. I couldn't even imagine like we we've built it up so much that like I can't even look the guy in the eye if I ever saw him. I'd just be like I I I'd think like reptile mantis like blood drinking like everything dude everything we've talked about up there dude, you know what's even funnier is uh, I'll be working at range and once in a while a Gettiker Superstore ad will come up and then someone usually says about their dislike and distrust of Steve Gettiker really is that true yeah man, I've heard all it three the local different celebs times. are fucking crazy dude it's Very. true man Don Brown shakes sweat off his like jiggling lips as he shakes his head <laughs> Yeah, is the, your TV sweats when he comes on. That's what Colin said. Dude, I always, I always uh, relate uh, Don... Uh, and it's cold. It's ice fucking cold. Fucking Don Brown to... Uh, Dude, who's the guy that, like, does car loans and he has, like, the most high-pitched, like, annoying, nasally voice? Oh, uh, he's on, like, during the Blues games? Yeah, what is that guy's name? It's, uh... What about the girl with the dogs? I don't know her name Buckley either. Buckley and shit? Yeah. Buckley and Buckley? Buckley and Death. I like the uh, the two lawyers and the one dude has the eye patch and it's just a square brown photo. And brown and brown. Yeah. Personal They're, injury. It's, dude, it's just a square dude, they're photo. They're brothers. I don't know why they call them just brown. Yeah, it is just brown. Or brown squared. <laughs> brown square. Brown eye. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> brown spider. <laughs> would you go with an eye patch or just a horrible looking would, glass eye? No, I'd go with an eye patch. <laughs> uh, I think that dude's making a power move by having yeah. an eye Well, he's a personal injury. Somebody told me, somebody person. told me no, that I, they like saw him in a public place and asked for his autograph. And he signed it with a smiley face with an eye patch on. Oh, that's, oh, right. that's yeah. great. Yeah. That dude's fucking rocking it, man. Yeah. Dude, dude, eye patches. Dude, he probably doesn't even better. have a missing eye at all. He just wears an eye patch. But a glass side that looks in a different direction, or you maybe put like. <laughs> you could like you control which direction it looks at. Dude, dude Tony, totally, like, I think I see that one thing <laughs> that's like moving back and forth really weird. It's, it's You're losing your. I, your all right, um, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Look away and then look at it again. I can't think of the right word. It's still doing it. Your, uh, what you call it? I can't think of what it's called. Dude, can you imagine relativity? Your relativity. To can you imagine yeah, if we made first right contact here. on Daddy O Patio right here tonight? <laughs> Dude, if we get sucked up, we get sucked Dude. up, and then we record while we're like naked Getting on the tables, broke. getting like like dissected. <laughs> guys, we're still recording. <laughs> this is great. We got aliens. I'd be like, do you guys have Bush? Do you guys have Bush? <laughs> Dude, that would be so funny if like. For, for thousands of years, people have talked about alien abductions and all this bullshit, but, like, we if it sucked actually off a happened, bank. like, on an episode of, dude, of no, our Dude, no one even believe show. us, even if that actually, like, yeah, they, happened. Like, I'm, they're just like, oh, dude, those sound effects are really good. Wait, but, uh, here they come! <laughs> <laughs> That's my kidney! Oh, God! Pulls everything up. Dude, aliens. I would. Everyone in the neighborhood just We're in the ship thought now. I would like to kill an massacre. alien. I would like to twist an alien's neck just to say I killed a resident from a million miles away. <laughs> that was the be, first human you, that's, contact that, that, they've ever made. That's be, on my business card, too. You could be charged with it. It would be, uh, it'd be totally all right. I twisted an alien. I ended him. I twisted an alien. It doesn't even sound like a murder. It just sounds like, <laughs> like you... I ended an alien. I ended his trip. <laughs> you just you brought a bunch of tagalongs <laughs> down and then you fucking... Break his gooey neck. <laughs> yeah, dude, aliens. Dude, it's kind of crazy to think that, like, if aliens came, we would have to, like, try and sum up, like, thousands of years of our culture to, like, explain it to them. I mean, yeah. it, even, I mean, I would assume if they came here and they weren't, like, already killing us, they'd, like, want to learn from us or about us. So, See, I, you know how, like, uh, all I of our, feel like if they got here, what are they gonna learn from us? Really I feel like all much? of our, like, uh, oh, well, they wouldn't learn, they'd just study us. Or, you know how they get all of our radio and television signals? It's gonna hit up to this point when they finally receive, like, dubstep, and they're like, that's it, I've had enough, and that's when, uh, <laughs> the remaining of human civilization. Dude, even dead. the shit that we put out is going out into space, like, forever. Daddy O Patio is echoing through time I in mean, the universe. In oh, all shit. That's actually our voices are actually just rippling in the direction of space. Yeah. 
and it's going to keep going. I mean, the, the signal becomes extremely weak after, like, 30 feet, but, I but mean, still, it's still dude, technically rippling across the galaxy. daddy o patio is out there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's actually there. You know, I mean, you know there's an alien. There's, like, no, like, like, nothing in space to, like, make noise, and that's technically true because it's so far apart, but, like, there's actually particles in space. So, like, you're, you're, you saying something towards the sky is actually going to eventually, like, ripple forever in that direction. It's going it to hit an alien so on his farm. While he's, quiet. he's farming Trithurkins for his high order. Trithurkins? Trithurkins. On the Trithurkins. Trithurkins. That was beautiful. Dude, uh, can you imagine that? Like an alien farm? Like just huge fields of like weird juicy fruit. Not juicy fruit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, all, what, that's, all, that's all they have fruit. is juicy fruit. It's <laughs> all we got. We got nothing. And they beam it down to the Wrigley's factory <laughs> yeah. and they just like sell it immediately to people. Yeah. I get these two. Do you think it would grow in packs? Or like... No, no. It's like a, it comes down like a block of cheese and they yeah. just like <laughs> slice it up. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably not even a rectangle. It's probably got like a sphere and they have to slice that into a rectangle and then and put then potter shoot. on it. <laughs> And then chew it up and then form it into another rectangle. <laughs> tangle or... Rectangle chewed and then rectangle. That's uh, That's actually what Juicy Fruit is. It's a yeah. fruit from an alien planet. That's Dude, uh, That's been it. chewed by somebody else. Sinbad, and then, like... Sinbad from those old 90s movies chews it up. You know what I'm talking about? No. Sin- Sinbad, the, the black guy? He was in... Uh, he was House in... guest. Yeah, house guest, good burger. <laughs> I know who Sinbad is. I'm, I just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he's he's, he's explained to me who I, Sinbad I, I, like, is. I full he's, understand who Sinbad was. It was in his the contract. It was he's in the his one contract who chews him that, in the yeah. rectangles. <laughs> Did they use his molars? Yeah. Like no, perfectly flat. Sizers. Look at any movie it's or scene where he always has gum in them. He was sponsored. Every every double mint Wrigley has been in Sinbad's mouth. I feel like there were some good songs uh, they came from Wrigley. Oh, they're gonna say from Sinbad. Uh, uh, probably. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. Freaking. Uh, I can't think of all oh, these right clouds now. are gonna start. Uh, dude, me it off goes here. Uh, juicy fruit. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it goes. That's the ski one or whatever. Yeah. When they're on the ski lodge, and it goes, get your ski shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move you. Take a stick, pull it out. The taste is gonna move you when you pop it in your mouth. Juicy fruit, the taste, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Yeah. <laughs> Except Juicy he, fruit. Did, he didn't hit that move note like that. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, it sounded like he like That's a take. stubbed That's his a toe as he said it. <laughs> move, move ya. <laughs> Dude, but the red, uh, what was the red one? Big red? Big red? Dude. Was, was there a big red? Th- yeah, jingle? it was like, say goodbye a little longer, kiss your dad a little longer. <laughs> it said that? Uh, yeah. Kiss your dad? No, it didn't say that. Kiss was, your I dad just, a little I longer? I just couldn't think of any words, and that was the first thing I thought of. But, <laughs> kiss your dad a little longer. That's like yeah. the, the first thing. As if, like, you're not long enough already. <laughs> Come on, can, Jimmy, kiss your dad longer. <laughs> yeah, that was only three seconds. Yeah. Longer with Five big seconds red. only. Hold your that big song. red freshness grows right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. Dude, While you chew it, my shoulder blades are total ruined. What's uh, what's the green one? Was that double mint? Or yeah, that's double mint. Okay. Wrigley's double mint. That, that was double a, that the was pleasure. Double the fun. Do, double do, double mint gum. Dude, double honestly mint gum. though, I would like to double my pleasure and fun. That'd be great if you could have twice as much. In fact, I was already talking about that by having two dicks earlier. That would double your pleasure and your fun. Yeah, it would. That's well, what they should have had on the double mint commercial. Dude, also, two dicks. Yeah, dude, I know we like, like talk through like the double dick thing, but like, like you also have to oh, find a girl stop. that's like two girls are gonna be okay with a dude with double dicks. Uh, dude, if you told the girl you had double dicks, they're like, <laughs> all right, never mind. Forget dude, it. I feel like there's like, dude, look at this. There's actually a pretty small percentage of people that'd be cool with having yeah. sex with that. Yeah, you're right. Dude, isn't dude, it like, crazy? What to kind think? of radioactive wake did you crawl out of? Like, look, look, kind of like almost upside down, and look at that, and act like you're like you're skydiving, dude, <sighs> over those clouds right there. That's what it was like. Isn't dude, that crazy? If we just have like a cannon that launches us straight up in the air, it's like reverse well, we, skydiving. Oh, we, 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 <laughs> you're driving into the sky. Yeah. Yeah, but then it's like actual ground. skydiving. You know, you're you're diving off the ground. Double satisfaction. Dude, I can't fucking Double wait to go skydiving. Double your pleasure. Sky- Double your pleasure. <laughs> Double your fun. That's what, dude, next time we go skydiving, we get, we should get shot out of a cannon. Really high. Double your pleasure. Free Double fall, your fun. Free shot fall out of a cannon. Down. Straight towards the sun. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chris. We just get sucked up dude, into the atmosphere. Dude, if I had... 
Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna all have two dicks, get shot out of a cannon, and then skydive back down while we're chewing double mint gum. And we got some fucking flashlights with us. <laughs> two of them. We'll yeah, you gotta have two. Or you can have a specially made one. Dude, can you imagine if made you just saw someone jump out of a plane? It's and a like lie. you looked at him, he was just jerking off in the air, like on the way down. Somebody had to have jerked off in the sky. I'm sure somebody's like banging somebody in the sky. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, there was uh, people that did zero G sex. They had this like set. They had this like. They had like two Velcro things that they could just like open up and they float to each other in the air and then latch together and then like bang zero G. But I feel like that's weird because there's like no leverage. You know what I mean? Well, you use their body as leverage. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've never had zero G sex. I kind of want to have that now. Just I imagine like, like doing a 360 that. backflip while banging <laughs> some broad. Yeah, dude, it'd be some so Some Russian awesome. immigrant. Doing, like repeated backflips <laughs> over and over and over. <laughs> dude, yeah, you could just have someone spin you, and like both of you guys would spin for so long while you're banging. Dude, you could climax mid-backflip. There's so many things you could do. Can you imagine if like you fucking backflip and came and, like, and missed a girl's face and just... Went all the way around and you just hit it. I would definitely <laughs> pull out because, dude, like, I mean, it's, I, you don't want to blast in there because you don't want to have to like pay child support and all that <laughs> shit. But <laughs> also, be, like, more likely to be a pregnant when she's in zero G. No, I mean, do you think that affects the likelihood? I would think I it'd know. probably fuck it all up, dude. Soda. How are you, how's it, your like... sperm gonna gonna swim? With it? It'd just be flailing around, like, dude. But anyway, I'd pull it'd out. It'd probably die before it actually hit anything. I'm just saying, I'd pull out because it'd be cool. So you could watch it, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best reason. I saw somebody, like, ring out a towel in outer space. Yeah. That's crazy shit. That one dude was, like, taking requests of what to do. Whoa. And then he also played, uh, he covered a uh, David Bowie song in the spaceship, and that's really cool to me. There was, uh, there was another guy who, like, cracked an egg open under the sea. In the and, ocean? Yeah, it was, like, crazy. Like, he, like, would move his hand and, like, create, a, like, a negative current, and then the uh, egg would follow in the negative current, and it would just follow his hand around. Whoa. That's so cool. That's weird. Yeah. I, I could never do, like, the whole submarine thing. Like, be, like... Yeah, that's it, crazy. It, dude, if it, like, breaks, you you just sink to the bottom of the ocean, you're fucked. They, they can't help you. No, they've got, like, backup systems. No, so what dude, happens if everything the submarine explodes. breaks? Sure what happens? Like, some kind of, like, they forget about them. It becomes a giant... Because no, people, I, have, I think people that have died like, that way, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. But what about that one that one uh, shipwreck where the guy was like alive? The cook was trapped. Oh, he was in the freezer. Yeah, for like that three... wasn't even a submarine. That was just a ship. That yeah, sank. he was there for like three days. He was posted up in the freezer. Oh my god. And he drank soda to survive. Really? Yeah. What was it? What soda was it? Coke. Dude, Dude that's a commercial. Was it really? That's a, the best commercial, man. What soda do you drink to survive, Coke sir? <laughs> Coke saves you when you're straining under the ocean. Dude, but, like, <laughs> they, they show the video they, uh, show the video when they find him, and, like, his reaction would be exactly as mine, purely fucking terrified that someone just popped oh, out of yeah, the water. That was the first time he saw light in days. Dude, I still think that's kind of fucked up that, like, Subway used, like, Jared as, like, a health thing. Dude, like, Subway doesn't help you lose weight, man. You can yeah. lose weight doing anything. He like, he walked like thirty miles a day. <laughs> yeah, you could eat, but they you don't could eat grease of out of the barrel of a Burger King. That's and all lose in the, weight. <laughs> like in those subway ads, I'm sure there's like an asterisk somewhere. Oh and yeah. It's all like, oh yeah. By the way, Jared did uh, nothing. Liposuction. <laughs> I mean, they, did, they did offer like, like that's options even Jared. that had like were filling and had like low calories and low grams of fat and shit, but. And dude, ultimately, it was Jared that made the difference, not the subway. Well, you know that like he just has a fat twin. They they feed him. So they, like can keep, they can keep them in the rectangle on the left side and then the, the other Jared on the right side. Jared Subway. It's not like yeah. a, just a picture? No, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a twin. It's actually live every it's a, time. It's an obese twin they keep in a cage. <laughs> Larens. Force feed him, like, <laughs> pre-chewed food. It's hey. all, like, chewed up hey, Larence, Doritos. Hey, Larens, you want some more jelly donuts squirted on no! you? No! Well, we need you in a rectangle on the commercial, so here you go. <laughs> now, Jared, you're in good shape, right? You got to stand next to that fat lard. Dude, they like and hold up his fucking dirty ass pants. Dirty. Yeah, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're always holding those pants up, dude. Dude, those pants. Why would he get rid of those? I feel like if I lost that much weight, I'd be like, ah, oh, fucking get these away from me. I'd just wear dude. them anyway. <laughs> dude, also, I'd, like, why I'd do keep why? wearing them? <laughs> dude, you had to have like the like the stupidest belt in order to get that on there. It'd be like <laughs> it'd be like scrunched up all around your waist. <laughs> dude, what would that even look like? Stupid. It looks so <laughs> stupid. You look like a clown. Dude. Man, you can make like a circus tent out of those pants. It's weird when you like 
lose so much weight that your pants can then be like a blanket on you. Like, that's fucking crazy. Dude, Dude he like fits in one of his own legs. Like, my, he became one of his thighs. My dad... <laughs> that's uh, insane. My dad quit drinking and lost fucking 50 pounds and none of his clothes fit anymore. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing ever. That's crazy. I don't know how you could drink that much beer. Yeah, neither did I. Dude, your, your hands are like oh, shit. on my face. <laughs> I forgot we were that close. <laughs> we're touching tips. Dude, uh, there's a there's a plane now. There's a human driving that plane. Dude, do you guys have That's like, probably bird poop in your too. hair? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think I laid my head in a nest. Of bird poop? Of bird <laughs> Dude, your hair a is kind of like a nest already. bird fetuses <laughs> hanging, hanging from my freaking hair. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Dude, I keep seeing those little baby birds dead on the sidewalk. And uh, I want to make them into earrings. Just uh, <laughs> have two dangly, dead baby bird Dude, earrings. at Pickleman's, there was, like, a dead one. Or it wasn't dead, it was still alive. And, like, Dan, like, stepped on it on his way into the store and, like, turned around and saw what it was and, like, broke his heart. Oh. And so he like, went into, like, the store, and I was managing along with the uh, general It was manager. alive? He killed it? Was it? Still, no, he, he just, like, crunched it, looked at it. It was still alive. It was just, like, like still gasping for air. Oh, and man. so like God. we like he like went to the store and he's like, dude, uh, there's a dead baby bird like, like dying on the concrete outside. And so like we went out and checked it out, and like I saw it and it just like was like so like sad. You guys but like him? my general manager like didn't react, picked up the chair, dropped it on the bird's skull and smashed it immediately. He's like, all right, sweep it up. And I was like, oh, oh my god, god. Hey, it needs to be done. Man. Was... I know it needed to be done, but like just the fact yeah, that he had like zero like... reaction whatsoever. Yeah, but you guys were like almost the sicker ones for standing there. Oh, I know, at I know. I've had like... to do that with frogs that like I barely run over. I'll run over their back legs just a little bit. And then, like, uh, I see that they broke their finger, and they just crunched their whole skeleton under my heel. <laughs> Dude, they'd be fine if you just broke their finger. I broke their fingernail. Yeah. It's like, ouch. That was, oh, that gets that was kind of out of his misery. Yeah. Hey, Harry, goodbye. Oh, those grow back. Shit. You can't have living after that. I feel like being a frog would be awesome. Being a frog no would be No way, sick. dude. No way, dude. You jump everywhere. That's great. And get run over by cars and eat yeah, lightning but- bugs. Well, those are and choices. And by dogs. <laughs> it's his choice to get run over. <laughs> it's his choice to you know what? I'm going to get run over. It's like, fucking, I'm dying today. You know why you they lay in the road, right? Fuck it, I'm going to dance in this road. They got to keep their underbelly, like, cold, so they put it on the freaking cement at night. And get I crushed feel like by that's cars. just such a risk, though. There's got to be other places where giant machines with lights on the front of them don't pass every five minutes. You know, know. what I mean? Yeah. I'd find a cold, wet place that that not Dude, wasn't just get there. on top of a car. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you there. go. Yeah, and then at least if you go out that way, it's like the ride going of out like time. sixty miles per hour. <laughs> 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 you probably it's like a buffet, like on the highway. All those oh, bugs yeah, coming at you. You just like post up on the grill with your mouth open. <laughs> yeah, dude. If we dude, take that'd be like trips, that'd be like a like a like a major league baseball pitcher like whiffing <laughs> like make doubles at your face. Did you, get, or, did you guys see the the, pro, the profile you. of a vulture and then above it like a T Rex or something? Uh, I see the vulture. I see the vulture, and oh, I like, see like more like a ferret or like a. Or like a cat swatting at something. Swatting at the, the vulture. Or, uh, the vulture's almost oh, perfect. I see, a, I see the T-Rex, actually. I see a vulture and a T-Rex. Yeah, I see a, you can see, I, the, the, you can see the jawline of the T-Rex. I can, <clears throat> I, the T-Rex is kind of doing one of these where it's like, hey, you guys, why are you guys? <laughs> he's, I see him like... And look, he's got little hands, too. Yeah, I see the T-Rex, man. But the vulture has wrinkles in the back now of his neck. It's has, almost like uh, it's like some out of zoo books. Now the vulture has two heads. We and have the second head, head is like attacking the <laughs> first one. We have not explained what we're looking at. Dude, the vulture is We're awesome. looking at an old man's back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all it looks like Tatooine. <laughs> this, this old man climbed up on the roof and showed us yeah. his, his moly back. And we're playing Connected Dots. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped we're off we're eating him off like fucking uh, <laughs> Werther's Originals again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's got a whole stash of Werther's Originals growing yeah. off the back of his, uh, his he just lower like, back. He just, like, does a shimmy and they, like, inner, cascade <laughs> off of him. His, his, his inner, inner thigh holes. hair on every single one when of them. When you get old, you know, like, that little patch of lower back hair that you have, or, like, over your ass? Like, when you get old, that becomes a Werther's Original plant. Like, that's <laughs> <just, laughs> the Werther's Original. Uh, oh, dude, my back feels like a... It's I it tastes so roof. caramely. Oh, shit. Everything hurts. I, yeah. How long have we been recording? Yeah, I feel like it's been a while. Uh, we're only at 48 minutes. We still have 12 minutes. Yeah, we've been proper. Whoa, sitting out real fast is not the proper way to end it. And I can't tell. Do you guys want to end the episode back inside? Sure. 
do that. All right, well, I guess we're going to, since this is the adventure episode, so or action episode, or whatever it is. This roof's only four feet down, right? We haven't talked about action <laughs> at all. <laughs> we just, like, moved. That's how we did the action. Yeah, we, don't, we didn't have to talk about the action. We just had to perform it. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have talked about action. Oh, well. The action episode is not very action. Hey, I think it was this. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Holy shit, be careful. Yeah, is this shit gonna just dent down? <laughs> Mama! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mama! And they never saw Lance again. <laughs> if she's like a 60 foot. Drop. Mama! And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are my last words. Alright, somebody else hold this because I'm about to go down. Dude, holy shit, how do we get down from here? Alright. Is there like a trampoline or a it's, jump? It's blind. Circus balloon? This is over there. Just leap for those. You get fucking bed bugs immediately. <laughs> it's not hard if it's blind. It's not hard, but it's just blind. Alright, uh. Hey, I'll think you heard the man. Just gonna pocket it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, listeners, you are going into my back pocket right now. As I climb down this rustic piece of shit, I'm gonna push Lance off. <laughs> Goodbye, Lance. <laughs> hey, you can hand that down to me. Let's take it for a ride. Take it for a ride. All right, there we go. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Goodbye. All right, listeners, if you just survived that, you just came out of the abyss of Peach's back pocket while he climbed down a treacherous, rusty thing behind a bank. I got tetanus, guys. I'm dead. All right. He's dead in this. Hey, what about the the guy with his shirt off upstairs with the bulls on him? Oh, he's Leave dead. Him. Oh, he's, he's died. I guess we shouldn't have taken some moles off him. He's <laughs> like bleeding out. Yeah, took so many moles. That's how he uses it was his, his, photos, his photosynthesis for the sun or the moon. Gathers yeah, through his, his moles. <clears throat> Can you lock that? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, well. Here we are, everybody. Right back where we started. <laughs> hey, you went to Domo Skeleton to a fucking tin roof, Tony. How do you feel about that? I feel good. So what, is that, what else is there to even think about in this life? Action. <laughs> so there's uh, lifting things. Dude, actions. What if everything just didn't have an action? What if it's just... There'd be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If we just float around like we were being copy and pasted on like a paint. Well, floating is an action. Oh, yeah. And copy and paste is definitely also an action. An action. Yeah. Everything's an action. Thoughts are action. No, it's not. It's brain action. Thinking is an action. Thought is not an action. Thought, Thought is, is a, a noun. noun. True. Nice. nice. There we go. We're getting loopholes. <laughs> well, here, th- th- that's our thing then. Thoughts. We are run. Thoughts. We are run are the there. Key. That's how you like loophole out of like stopping actions you just change like how you speak <laughs> yeah turn all your actions into nouns you guys want to go back on the roof <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even inaction is an action that's not true is that true somebody else think about this harder than I do am. nothing is an action okay exist <clears throat> Is <laughs> B. This is like the worst <laughs> last like five no, minutes. No, no. This is where we get philosophical about actions. It evolves so quickly. We have like a nice, like very healthy conversation on the roof. We come back in and just like speaking in broken <laughs> dirt. <laughs> grunt, grunt. <laughs> Dude, I think a freaking mosquito dove into my iris. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was first. It's been an eventful it's night. So we got abducted by aliens. Um, we uh, holy shit! Look, 
Is that meat? I just saw his nose. Jelly! I thought it was meat. Where is meat? I haven't seen meat. Well, guys, this is the worst last couple minutes all of right, the well, podcast. How do you want to make this up? <laughs> uh, I wish there was some action I could take to make this better, but there's nothing I can do. We yeah, at least <laughs> take this away. Action. Actions are <laughs> movements. <laughs> are all actions movements? Eh? No. No. Are they free? Are all movements actions? <laughs> yes. Actually, no. A bowel movement is not an action. That's an action. How is no, that not an a action? A bowel movement is not. A bowel movement's a noun. You're right. But to have I a bowel think movement is to to do a bowel know. movement. So you have to have the word to an prove action. It. All right. You you, you don't ever you don't ever say I just bowel movement. <laughs> <laughs> bowel movement. I just bowel Here's movement. One. movement. What's your favorite action word? Excruciate. Bang. Oh wait, one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Excruciate. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like no, like think of that as like a verb. I know like, that's to right excruciate. <laughs> <laughs> he, he excruciated him. Dude, he excruciated him to pieces. As the pirates held the janitor down, they excruciated his fingernails <laughs> slowly. Why did the pirates hold the janitor? <laughs> or why As the, they, jan- why the janitors held the pirate something? down. What is excruciating? Excruciated. How do you excruciate someone? They force their own pain on the janitor in such a forceful way. They they excrete their inner pain. They connect their nerve endings up to his brain and like stab themselves a whole bunch. Bad thoughts. (laughs) (laughs) The janitor just sit there wriggling on the table as they do this. Stop it. They're the ones that are like taking all the actual pain, but he just feels all their pain. (laughs) Guys, I've been mopping up your trash for weeks on this boat. You're going to treat me like this? It's a janitor of a boat, too. (laughs) He still has a jumpsuit, though. They're all dressed in like 14th century pirate costumes. It was Disneyland. That's it. Yeah, I think that's all. That's all we got. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Well, uh. I guess the final true words and true action of this episode are... <laughs> Daniel!